This is my husband, Eric. Mm-hmm. Me. <laughs> um, we've been going to church here for how long? Four years? Four On years. And On and off. Started in grad school, then moved away uh, for work, and then came back. And um, when we came back, there were a lot of new faces. We we still recognized some people and were able to rekindle some friendships, but definitely a lot of new faces. And um, we joined the, the couple small group and have just really met some great people. Um, it really has helped us to to see ICC as as a community and as a home for us. Um, it's not just a place to do worship on Sunday, but uh, we've met a lot of people that we're great friends with now that we probably wouldn't have met any other way uh, just by coming and leaving on Sundays. And so for us, it's it's cool to to have met people to do life with, and you know, small groups were the foundation for that for us. And neither one of us are from Memphis, so our families aren't here, so they've kind of become our family and our home. You know, whenever something comes up, we know that people are there that will care about us and help us with whatever we need. And um, just kind of in a similar place as us, all younger couples, and it's just been good to just experience um, just marriage with them and learn from them and, and just see what God is doing in their lives and um, just kind of grow together. It's a good support. I mean, it's easy to, to make friends in certain situations, but it's hard to find good Christian friends that provide good examples to you, but also can hold you accountable for, for your walk. Right. So. And people that you know you can call at early in the morning that will take you to the airport, or um, if something has gone on in your family, you can call them and know that they'll be there and praying for you. Hi, I'm Christine Craig. I am a second year at Southern College of Optometry. Um, I think that small groups have really helped me to be a better Christian, and it really gets me to engage in the material a little more, um, just talking about it, having that fellowship and the support of uh, the other girls with me just in what I'm experiencing and what I'm trying to learn that can make a huge difference. I think it's made me closer to God. Really just makes it so that I understand all of His ways more and really helps me be better and do better. <laughs> This is Beverly May, and I'm a Glimary. I live in assisted living. And when this Bible study opened up to me, it opened up my whole life. It brought me back to my foundation. I love hearing Barrett and Robbie and Jordan speak, and they speak a message that's so dear to my heart. It makes me alive in Christ, ready to serve. I want to serve the Lord. And they are so important to everyone's life here. I wish others could speak as I'm speaking because I know they love it as dearly as I do. I look forward to Mondays at three o'clock so much. Hey, I'm Jonathan Mace. I'm involved in student small group at ICC Church. Uh, I have really enjoyed it, especially um, with school going on as well uh, because I know I, I get caught up a lot in the difficulties of school and getting kind of absorbed I guess with, with tests and maybe something didn't go right the like on one week and I get kind of focused on that um, and I remember I mean it just it's it's a place to kind of chill out and relax and just uh, meet with your fellow brothers and sisters in Christ and just learn about God's Word and you know whenever I'm in, in the in small group I feel like God's just saying, Jonathan, relax, you know, life is busy, but these guys are here, they're, and they're in it with you, like, they're here to give you advice, you can give them advice, like, it's a, it's a good community, it's, it's a refresher in my, in my book, well, with my week for sure. Hey, I'm Brandy, and I'm part of the Working Women's Small Group. So, small groups are important to me, 
because they just allow you to build deeper relationships with people who are like you, going through the same situations in life as you are. And it also gives you a chance to apply things that we talk about on Sunday and um, some of those verses and scriptures that we read that you can apply to real life um, and just go over practical problem solving in your real life and, and how to go about solving those problems in a gospel-minded way.